Hi, welcome to Joanna's DIY Life. I'm Joanna, and I am so glad you are with me today. It is so it's Saturday. I am going to make something that I need, and that is uh, washing scrubbies with a um, cloth from the Dollar Tree that does not smell. Y'all, these, these rags are amazing, okay? Especially for your dishes. So we're gonna be doing that, and I'm going to be making some linen dish towels. So I'm gonna start with the scrubbies, okay? Let me get my phone out of the way. You never know who's gonna call me or anything. Um, but these are the wash, the rags. They're not wash rags. They're they're in the cleaning section. They're in the um, automotive section and things like that. But they come two in a pack like this, okay? And I do suggest before you make these that you wash them first because one washed, one not washed. See the shrinkage and this was not used this was actually on it when i got it so but they're they're not you know they'll shrink you want them to shrink before you do this uh diy now you can leave them like this and just use them as washcloths um you know that's up to you i have a piece because actually one ripped see it shredded i don't know what happened but anyway you can use a scrubby that you get from the Dollar Tree or anywhere, Dollar Store, Dollar Tree, or you can use one of their mesh bags, okay? These work great too. This is one done with a mesh bag. I don't know if you can see it because it's really bright in here. Maybe that'll work. All I done was zigzag my mesh on there, but we're gonna use this, okay? And I'm just gonna go around this right here, and I'm gonna use my rotary cutter. I am, um, y'all be careful and don't get your fingers. I'm just going around it without measuring because it's a dish rag. If you wanna be precise, by all means, go ahead. That's your, it's your business. Um, but anyway, this is what I'm gonna do. Now I'm going to go to the machine and I'm going to show you how I am going to attach this to this one. Now, if I want them all this size, okay, then I can use this before you sew any more and cut out another one, okay? But before you sew, if you plan on making a few of these, go ahead and cut your little rectangles and sew them all at one time it makes it well to be punny it makes it so much easier okay save your zipper seam rip this out you never know what you can do with it and actually watch this piece right here will work just fine Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around this and I'll speed it up, but I'll show you how I do both of these. These are super simple. I mean, super simple, okay? So uh, meet me at the machine. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one first. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your machine on a zigzag, okay? And I put mine wide just because um, that way I know I'm catching a lot of this, you know, this meshy stuff and, and, and putting it down. So you can sew one in the middle, but I'm just gonna do three to make sure that this doesn't rip, okay? So all I'm gonna do is zigzag down three times. So you'll see, and I'm, I'm lengthening my stitch long wise or lengthwise too so that it's you know not so close together but anyway here we go
Now go all the way around the edge. Now on this one, I'm just using white and I'm putting this on top so my feed dogs grab my fabric, okay? And all I'm going to do is zigzag around this edge. Now this ain't gonna fray, but there's cotton fibers in there. But I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just go around this edge, okay? This'll be all right. That's it. There are your dish rag scrubbies, okay? This is the best stuff in the world. I'm telling you, it doesn't smell. Um, you can leave it for, for days, okay? And just rinse it out after you get done doing dishes and lay it across your sink and it will dry and they do not smell like sponges. They don't get slimy like normal dish rags. These things are awesome. Make sure you clip all your threads so they don't look so tacky, you know, I mean, if you're going to give these as, as gifts to anybody, family members or anything like that, um, these would be really, really nice. And like I said, you can use other fabric. You have to wash them every time. Now on this one, I am going to take my scissors and I am going to trim the excess white off just because... That's going to annoy me. <laughs> you can make these, if you, especially if you use the mesh bags, any size that you want to, um, to suit you, okay? So, there's that project down. Of course, I'm going to make some more. Now, linen fabrics make the best dish towels, okay? These are some linen, linen fabrics. I cut this one. Um... Of course, this is farmhouse linens. What it is, it's a, it's a cotton. This is double-sided, so it's kind of thin. It, it's like having tea towels. Um, I cut this one down, but this is what it is, okay? I got this at Hobby Lobby, and it seriously shrunk. So you really want to wash this before you do anything with it because it is a shrinker fabric, okay? Because it's 100% cotton. But you can do this. This is one yard, believe it or not. It only comes, most yards are 45 wide. This is only approximately 21 wide, okay? So this would be like a fat quarter, but longer. So you can leave this one big tea towel if you want to do that and just finish your edges here. I took the tea towel and I cut it in half, okay? So what I done was the stripes are at the bottom. I ironed it, of course, and then I folded this in half and then I just cut along here and then used my rotary cutter and my cut tool, quilters, rulers, whatever you want to use, your choice, and um, cut my uh, raggy junk off. Now I will tell you, you can put these in mesh bags your little fabrics or you know whatever because when you wash these you get a ball of strings okay that you gotta pull off of this a lot of cotton fabrics do that you can also before you put it in the washer take and stitch all around these edges and it will only go so far that's your choice. I, I don't. It's too time consuming. 
so I just don't but anyways and this color would be really pretty for spring too all you're gonna do it doesn't matter okay it doesn't matter what side you use you can use a rolled hammer which is what I'm gonna do or iron this iron down fold under and iron again and then stitch right along this edge just do a, a, a top stitch okay you can also serge the sides if you want to do that if you have a serger um, either one would look nice and uh, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna use my rolled hammer on one and I'm gonna serge the other and show you what the difference is and what they look like I just want to I want to show you a serger tip in case you haven't never seen me do this before this is a way to tie off ends okay what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it in here now you can you can shave it off because if you don't shave it off let me show you what happens you'll get a stitch that looks like this I don't know if you can see but they come up a little bit so we don't want that um, so you want to stitch a couple this is loud Alright, now pull up, make sure your needles are down, pull this all the way, pull it over to where your needles are going to go and serge this string, okay? Now it's tied off. This other end, go till you get to the end. You can turn it with your hand if you want to. When you get it just out of the needle, okay, pick it up, put it down like that. I had a phone call and don't know where I left off, but anyways, when you get to the end, what did I do? Oh yeah, when you get to the end, flip it, okay? Let me retrace my steps. Now, make sure you do not get by your knife to do this, because you're gonna have to surge down and then cut off. <laughs> and then your edge is finished now on this one on this one I'm going to take and I have rolled hammer feet that look like this okay I have them in my Amazon store and I do not prefer to put mine on the iron and do it that way this is a number six. I don't know if you can see that, but they have different numbers. This is a number six, which means it's a bigger one. I'm gonna put my needle in the middle, okay? And let me take this knee bar out because I gotta get cockeyed here. All right, fold your fabric. Let me make sure I'm on the right edge, yeah. Fold your fabric. Make sure when you do this, you do this to the right side each time now you need to know how big your thing is mine will be about that big or should be I can judge these you can practice on a piece of fabric before you do this slide it under your foot and then lower your foot now sew a few stitches well mine's not going anywhere All right, leave your needle down, pull your fabric up under this right here, okay? Now when you do this, it creates the curve for you. Okay, let me get something. All 
These little pokey tools from the Dollar Tree are awesome. You want to pull this up in there like that right there. Told you, awesome. Okay, make sure that when you do this, you're folding your fabric, okay? And I like to go up some when I do this just because when it starts going, it, it, I pull up into the, to the right. You'll see, you'll see what I'm doing. Just, just watch me. Make sure you pull this back. Now, isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna do this to the other side. Here they are all finished. And I will tell you, I much prefer the surged edge. It's easier because this fabric is thick. This fabric is thin, but the thicker it is, the harder it is to go through, you know, my um, foot there. And then it creates a thicker thing to sew. So surgeon is definitely the way to go. And if you need a serger, a brother is a very good option. And on these, make sure that you do not iron this material, okay? Trust me, don't ask me how I know, I just need to clean my iron now. You can decorate them. Make sure you do have 100% cotton fabrics, okay? And uh, you will be, you should be good to go. Well, I most definitely wanna thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, because you never know what I'm going to be doing around here. But you know that I'm going to be doing something sewing Saturday. Or something to do with your sewing room. Or sewing decor. Or something like that. And it may not be every Saturday. But it is most Saturdays. Um, but anyways. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell to be notified when I upload a video. So you don't miss any content. And with all that being said. You are a blessing. I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.